Happy Vlogmas Day 4! We're out here running on a new route. I might actually, I should probably turn around. Yeah, we should do that. I'm using this app I'm not going to talk about today, but it's helping me hold myself accountable to actually run because when I was running the marathon, like when I finished that, I usually always just, I'm a sedentary potato. Oh, I just made it 0.5 miles. Yeah, basically I just don't move for the rest of the winter. So I'm trying to push myself to be a little more active. <laughs> don't really want to be though. I'm just looking forward to getting that cup of coffee. Good morning! Wasn't that fun? Started the day with a run. It was maybe fun for you, it wasn't fun for me. But now I took a shower, feeling much better. Excited for Vlogmas Day 4. Tonight we're going to the Rockefeller Center for their tree lighting, which is super sick. Every single year I tell myself I'm gonna go to the Rockefeller Center, but either it's raining or it's too cold, I or I just don't like end up feeling like doing it. So this is the first time I've actually been there for when the tree is being lit, but like the only thing is is it starts at 7, but the tree doesn't actually get lit until 10, and that is a very long time to get up to like be standing outside. And there's all these performances too. I think Kelly Clarkson is hosting it. So if I want to see her, I got to get there pretty early. I don't know how much of a desire I have to actually be standing out there the whole, like I just want to see go boop on Christmas spirit, yay, and go home. Very late for me to be frolicking about New York City, but you know, it could be fun. So I'm, I'm still deciding on how, what time I want to get there, but it's so beautiful if you hadn't seen it, I definitely want to show it to you. And uh, this will be the first for me experiencing the tree lighting too. I'm loving this guy. Get a little dog. I'm a child. Okay, so day four. What's for day four? Wait, is this donut shop? Will that mix well with peppermint? Because I really want the peppermint today. We'll see, okay? This is paint. smells a little burnt, not gonna lie. But whatever, it's fine. I literally, I don't know where all my spoons went. Maybe they're hiding somewhere in a box still, but I can't find any of them. Like, I only have a couple teaspoons of small ones. I'm using forks. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, my friends. All right, I need my phone. A subscriber shout out of the day. So I'm, I'm not going on comments just based on the video from the day before. Maybe some days I will, but today I, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I know. I just have to find them. Okay, today I'm gonna call out Phantom Stories 1831. She has been like a she has been a huge support since my channel was like itty bitty and she's always sending me positive encouragement. Yeah, and she comments on almost every one of my videos too. So, Phantom Stories 1831, if you're watching this, thanks for all your support. I appreciate you being part of my channel and a part of this community. You rock. No, but really like she only says such nice things and it really does mean a lot to me that people like watch everything and I think she's watched my whole channel a couple times I read all of her comments that just takes a lot of time and energy and uh, I appreciate you being here so yeah let's try this out that is strong cup of coffee I have a feeling though today I'm gonna need that Ooh, wow it's strong well um, let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Have you done anything cozy and fun yet for the holidays? And just in general, how are you doing? How are you feeling? What's on your mind? Let's discuss in the comments. Kind of into these coffee chats. I did watch a movie last night as I was putting away, like I'm organizing all my clothes now and washing a lot, so why the washer's out. I'm just trying to clean everything and put everything away. It was the rom-com with Reese Witherspoon and Aston Kutcher called Your Place or Mine. 
I thought it was pretty cute, actually. I mean, uh, the writing's always cheesy in rom-coms, and this was not holiday-related. This is not a holiday movie. But Netflix recommended it to me, and I thought it was pretty good. Reese is an amazing actress. We all knew that. So is Ashton Kutcher, amazing actor. And then also the supporting characters are really good. Oh, um, Jesse... What's his name? Jesse Williams is in it, and he is my celebrity crush, like, neck and neck with Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> and he's in that, and I was like, I'm a huge Grey's Anatomy fan. I've watched Grey's Anatomy a few times through. Let's just say I don't skip his episodes. Alrighty. Well, let's get on with the day, and I'll see you later as I go to the Rockefeller Center. We have had a lot of success already. I have found gloves, and I found not one hat, but two. So I get to take my pick. I'm loading on the socks right now. I found the other sock to the pair I wore last, <laughs> last street lighting. And uh, throwing it on with, uh, with two other pairs. So we're going three. I hope my feet actually fit in my shoes. Pants. Dude, that kid is always crying. I wonder if he's a Pisces. It's 5.48. It starts at seven. But really, like, the tree's not being lit until 10 or so, I think. But who is going to be there? Kelly Clarkson, I said earlier. Uh, and performers Chloe Bailey, Adam Blackstone, Cher. David Foster, Liz Gillies, Darlene Love, Seth MacFarlane, Barry Manilow, Catherine McPhee, Kiki Palmer, Carly Pierce, and Manuel Torizo. I know a few of those names. How do they say Love Island? I'm fuming, but not, like, angry. I'm just really, really warm right now. I'm gonna finish my makeup in case I meet the love of my life tonight. I tell myself that every time I leave the house. It's giving the rock <laughs> a little bit. I think in these instances you follow the crowd. Movement, but I've never I've just never done the lottery for it. It used to be really hard to get into. I've just surprisingly, maybe not surprisingly, just seen like almost no Broadway. I saw Hades Town last year, and that was the last Broadway show that I saw. Following the crowd led me in the wrong direction, so don't do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Tree. If 
from any uh, like security checkpoint at this point. So you know what? Maybe we'll make this a cute little Christmassy walk instead. <laughs> Maybe I just go to a bar and uh, then head by the tree after it's lit. fries I thought hmm instead of waiting until after the tree is lit which is still like hours from now let me go home and turn on a live stream we can say we tried I really should have done more research about this honestly we didn't get the experience today but we got a experience wait it's Nordstrom Nordstrom Okay, we're home. We're eating candy. Do we need to digest that at all, what just happened? I was filming on my GoPro, tiny little camera. I don't feel comfortable bringing my big camera that I'm filming on now um, out in the city, especially at night. But a guy just came right up to me and was like, where do you think you're going, bitch? And he literally backed off once he saw he was about five inches shorter than me. I was towering over him. So I was just talking about like how excited I am to do Christmassy stuff. And this guy comes up to me, where the f*** you think you're going, bitch? And I'm like, even though I am vlogging, I'm also very aware of what's happening. And I did get it on camera. And that's strange that like he would come up to someone with a camera that's on and curse them out. But the number one thing to do in this situation is just to mind my own business. Okay. I think possibly the most New Yorker thing I could do is to leave that Rockefeller tree show. I did not know it was gonna be like that. Maybe that's like a good reason that I had never been there. I'm moving things around right now in my room. So basically things might not look as updated as you saw in a prior video, but just suspend your disbelief. Cause we have a tree lighting to watch. I just don't know how. <laughs> How do I watch this? Five minutes. Oh, meaning is always called a meaning is always. You see? Oh, Kelly Clarkson is singing in the background. You can hear. But like, I want to see the the performances too. Oh, which uh, which rink is free? I think Grand Park is free. Uh, oh, it's on Hulu. I have Hulu. Uh huh. With live TV. $75 a month? Come on. Dang, it's just a tree. Back to square one. I had to make a stupid peacock account. I paid $6 for it, but that's the amount of money I would have spent on a hot chocolate anyway. So, here we go. It's crazy to think like we were just there. I love this city. Tonight the stars shine for the children. 
See, look, there's no one up there. Up top? Nobody. They wouldn't let anybody through. We were just there. We were just there. They gotta be so cold. I'm so glad I'm not out there. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not there. I love living in New York, but man, the crowds, you're just like always waiting and waiting in the crowds. Oh my God. So maybe this was best case scenario. You tell me. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. Yay. Yay. Wow. Let the Christmas season begin! That was lovely. I'm so glad we did that. What a night. What a whole day, actually. Wanna have a cup of tea? What's today's tea tag? <laughs> Many paths lead to the same destination. It doesn't matter how you get there. Hey, I kind of like that. Like, usually these are pretty cheesy, but I kind of like that. There's no what if if you took a different path because you'd find your, your destiny anyways. Your destiny would find you. Interesting to think about. Take that with you through your day. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. That's a great way to help support my channel. It's been so fun hanging out with you. Okay, tomorrow hopefully we'll have a bit more success in our Christmas activities. But I think we did pretty good today. Like, we made lemonade out of lemons. Okay, that's all. See you tomorrow. Bye!